So our employees in the field have asked us to provide access to product and supplier data on their mobile devices, their BYOD devices, their Androids, their iPhones, tablets, and what have you. So this calls for a responsive application that looks as good on an iPhone as it does on a desktop. And to do this, we created extensions using the OutSystems, the OutSystems integration SDK to those backend systems. So we have an extension to an order management database, which is home to the, uh, the, the product data. And we have an extension to a supplier portal database, which is home to obviously the supplier data. And what we're going to do is simply drag and drop that entity onto our home page. And we'll do that two more times and leverage some scaffolding patterns that are going to automatically generate the screens and associated logic necessary to populate those screens with data. And we're going to do that for both our supplier and our product entities. And if we take a look at, uh, at one of these, the supplier show screen, for example, we see what the, uh, what the scaffolding has done for us. So this is what the scaffolding looks like according to uh, the theme that, uh, that we're using at the moment, the London theme. But uh, as is usually the case, we want to modify what the scaffolding has done for us. In this case, we want to add the product picture to this screen. So before I do that, I'm going to modify the preparation logic that was generated for us by the scaffolding and update the query that runs before that screen is painted and add the product picture to that query. Now let's add the product picture to the screen and we are going to reuse the real estate currently home to the product name because that's already displayed at, displayed at the top of our screen and our product picture, a default product picture, the one, to, the one that we use when there is no product picture uh, is this. This comes from our order management database, but uh, that's not static. <clears throat> that comes from a database. And when I select database, you see the green ball at the top of our studio turns from, uh, from green to red. That's our consistency checker alerting us to the fact that we've got some fields that require some completion. So we've got the file name that we need to uh, add as well as the attribute, which is the binary of the picture itself, and the picture ID. And we're going to change the caching attribute of the picture to, uh, to no cache. And we're done with the change that we wanted to make to our product show screen. But since our suppliers supply products, it makes sense to not just display a product catalog, but also give our folks in the field the ability to know what products an individual supplier provides. So we'll simply drag and drop that product entity once again to our screen. And we see via scaffolding, we have generated a list uh, to display products. And we're going to uh, we're going to modify what was generated for us uh, because we, we don't want people to be able to update products in the field or delete them. We're going to enclose this delete products link in and if, which will allow us to apply a condition prior to displaying that link. So we're not going to display the delete link for anyone. And we are going to only allow people that are managers to enter new products in the field. So the condition we're going to check there is a built-in function related to the end user roles that will enable us to uh, check in this case whether or not the end user is a sales manager prior to uh, painting that screen. So we've, uh, we uh, actually have one more change we need to make to our product screen here. We're going to, uh, we're going to link the product name to the product show screen for that product and we will link to our product show screen and once again, the consistency checker uh, says, you know, uh, there's something that needs fixing here. My, uh, my link needs a product ID parameter. So let's pass product ID and we'll put it in mobile preview mode and see what this completed ac application looks like. Saving a copy locally, always handy. And notice now in the lower left-hand corner, uh, we see that the visual model of our application that, uh, that I'm working on here in the OutSystem Studio, as uh, uh, it's encapsulated in an XML file, which is being 
uploaded to the OutSystems platform where some different things are happening. It's being compiled into optimized C sharp.net code. All the SQL scripts, um, or rather the DDL scripts required to update uh, the database schema that uh, uh, those are applied, generated, and all the components necessary for a running web application are deployed almost instantaneously. So we have our sign-on screen with some, uh, some sample user logins, and we have a QR code, which your audience can scan to, uh, to see what this application looks like on their mobile devices. And we'll sign on as a salesperson. And we see the, uh, the supplier list. We can drill into the details. We can go to the supplier show record. And we see that uh, because we signed on as a Salesperson, not a sales manager. We don't see any link to enable us to, uh, to upload new products. If we look at our our product show screen, we see the product details complete with the product picture. So, in a little more than five minutes, we built a responsive application. That looks terrific on a mobile device. Looks great on a desktop as well to display in the field our supplier data, our product data, products that are associated with the supplier complete with a picture of the product.